Okay, so what do we have? Day six, get input. Um, so a few things that I've done. I have some some tries things, which are basically just I'm gonna put the my attempts um, in here, the ones that failed. Um, if I if I do fail any, um, which given my record so far seems fairly likely. Um, and then I also fix my regression tests, so it'll assert that it's either a test or that the answer's correct or or what uh, what I had originally derived. And yeah, well. We're about six minutes out, so hopefully things go well today. Okay, so I think I need to, at this point, take just a couple more seconds um, to think if there's anything clever to do before I start coding. It's going to, I think, be the, the strategy. We'll see if this works. Anyway, we have 30 seconds. Time for a little stretch and get ready. Again, leaderboard is not the goal. Oh, by the way, everyone, welcome into the stream. It's Advent of Code Day 6. All right. So let's do that. Let's get input. Customs declaration. Anyone in the group ha can answer yes. Okay, so another group asked for your help. You've collected answers from every group on the planet. <laughs> okay, so this is another one of those space problems, I think. We're gonna have to make sure to, um, in this for loop, read in the last group. Okay, let me pull in this. Um, Okay, so we just sum all of the, um, we're gonna put it into set, sum them together. I think that's gonna work. Okay, so. to do this at the very end else <clears throat> OK 
Okay, so let's just print out current real quick. Groups, I mean. Okay, and then what we do, I think we can just just count them. I'm going for it, guys. Yes! Yes! All right, um, part two. Everyone answered yes. Okay, so this is a little bit more difficult, so I'm gonna have to update my input parsing. Um, okay, so first of all, let's put this into our regression test. Um, definitely not actual leaderboard, but top 1000 is good enough for me. Um, current group equals empty list, I guess. And then this one. And then for each line, current two dot add. Okay, so what's the best way to do this? Let's just iterate through the for each group. For <clears throat> character and a um for person in group if C not in P then no equals true if no then s plus equals one actually i think this might work okay nope that doesn't work oh wait 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 wait, wait. oh oh my gosh Oh my gosh, that was almost really bad. I'm going for it, guys. I'm going for it. Yes! <laughs> oh, yes. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about.
Easton still beat me though, so that is unfortunate, and Sam is catching up. Colin is not far behind at all. He is he is about to solve. Okay, that was that was actually pretty okay. Yeah, let's uh let's clean this up though. That felt so much better than what ha uh than what's gone on before. So a couple things. Um, this this just went really well, um, but I do like I was confused by these, so I'm gonna add to my template. Let's let's label these with two. Okay, so let me let me copy this back over in here. Okay, what else went like I don't know, this just went really well. The input parsing, I should have you know, I, I'm. I, I don't even like. I. I think it was fine. Like it. It worked just fine. Um. It got me the answer for for two, for one really fast. Okay. What else is there here? I mean, so the fact that I was able to do this for part one was super helpful. I should have seen it coming though for part two, but like, honestly, I'm okay with it. Getting in here and here, not too bad. Not not the worst I have, I've done. What about this? Um, the reason I went for this is because I didn't want to figure out a way to do a range. Um, so I, I think it's fine. I, I think that is going to just be perfectly fine. I'm not even, I'm not even mad at any of this stuff. Like this worked perfectly. All of a lot, but who cares? Like this is constant. This is, this isn't that big ever. Okay, um, I don't know what else to say about this. Uh, I'll, I think I'm just gonna call it here. There, there's not, I don't think a ton that I'm gonna glean from, from this until maybe later on as I'm watching the stream back. Uh, uh, like I said, I actually, like, uh, like I mentioned at the beginning, I said I would read the um, problem a little bit harder and this one I think I did. Uh, I, I spent just a, like 15 extra seconds and that really saved me because you know I, I got this immediately. I understood that immediately when I read this. I understood it immediately um, and then just taking the time to pull in the sample input, do a test, printing out the groups, super useful. Um, and if I hadn't, for example, gotten this correct, like if I had missed that, I'm pretty sure. So if I, if I'd missed that, I, so if, if you notice, one of the problems that I had was this, I named groups dot append current two, and I'm pretty sure that if I had done that on accident, that my regression test would have failed when I did run five or one run six, like, I guess I can check this, but. Yeah, exactly. So the assertion would have would have failed, and I would have noticed it and probably gone back and figured out what the issue was. Um, so, man, that that went really well. I think I'm just gonna end the stream here. Um, I am.
very, very happy with this performance. I mean, obviously, I'm disappointed that I'm I'm still back of the the leader on our leaderboard, but you know, at, at least I am within striking distance. We're probably just gonna flip flop back and forth. I'm gonna get get one. He's gonna get one. So hopefully, hopefully that continues. Alrighty, everyone. Thank you for hopping in and watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and. Um, I'll be at it again tomorrow.